Guys, I got asked a very good question. It's a common question. What we're going to do is a series on making this clear. We're going to try to get to the point. But you're going to have to go back and forth through this video to try to use some of my tactics to help train your dog. Now, I'm very clear. This is a home. These are some treats. This is a leash. This is a cage. This is not Cha-Cha's cage. But it's a cage that she might frequent at times. This is a door. These are some stairs. There's a back door. And I'm just going to walk you through how I would, for one, start training my new dog. Why am I using Cha-Cha? Because she don't, she act like a brand new dog, okay? She don't listen. <laughs> so you say, huh, let's show you live in living color what it's like to deal with the dog or manage a dog who's a little complicated. Now, the leash, it's only if I can't get her to follow my directions. So, what I'm gonna do first, set my phone down. I've got a stool. I like pure bite treats. I'm gonna put five in my pocket. And crate training people, especially if you have an aggressive breed. When I say aggressive breed, I don't mean that the dog is gonna go out and kill somebody or kill another dog. What I mean is, it's a dog that kind of thinks for itself. Doesn't always listen. Thinks it knows what's best and don't pay you no mind. Early, early, early communications will take you and that dog's relationship a long way. A lot of people get rid of dogs because they are hard to deal with. Challenge is, is you didn't know what you was dealing with. So, Cha-Cha has not been in this cage. I'm gonna let her out of the cage. She's going to do what? She's going to run around the house. Watch, stay right here. I'm gonna let her out. She's gonna take off to the back door. She's gonna walk past the cage. She's gonna pay no mind. She does good, but there she goes. Now, again, I'm not called her name. Oh. Watch this. She went in the cage, so she's interested in it. Now, the first thing you might do when, again, getting a new pup, is you might just sit down next to the cage, let the dog know, hey, this isn't a bad place. The dog goes in, guess what, what do you do? We're treating them. So she walked in and she's curious, right? Cha-cha. Now she's like, where's the rest of the treatment? Then what you tend to do, she's back in there. What would you do if I was you? i throw another treat. What's the treat gonna do? It's gonna get that dog comfortable and being in the cage. Now Cha-cha, she's smarter because she's going on a year some change. So she's not a dumb dog. And she's not technically a puppy puppy. But she is a puppy. Mom, you gotta get down. You gotta get down, Mom. You gotta get down. We're working on something. We're trying to help them out. So, teaching the crate. I do this. Throw another treat in there. What is she doing? Mind you, I've not told her anything. Well, you're gonna break my leg. That's what you're gonna do, boy. She just went up, my leg straight extended. She keeps going in the cage now, so I'm seeing positive things. Let me be very clear and tell you guys this. This is a patient man game when you get a brand new pup and a new dog. They are not going to want to be in that crate. You don't want to create separation anxiety by spending all your time there. Once you get the dog in the crate, you turn around and you do what? You back away. You guys have seen my blanket concept. I'll add a blanket, especially if they're hooping and hollering. I'll put the cage all over the house in various rooms so the dog never gets comfortable or complacent or thinks it needs me. The crate is its safe place. It's its bedroom. It's a place where it gets a break from you as well. Crate training, in my opinion, when it comes to just training inside of your home, is probably one of the most important things. And I assure you, if you've owned many dogs, you're gonna teach that dog how to be in that crate before you teaching his name. So you say, hey, why did you teach me how to train the, you know, recall of my dog's name? That ain't reality. If you're a owner of a home, and if you're a person who's owned a dog, if you're a person who has a bully, you're a person who has had uh, uh, any dog that's chewy, you know for a fact, you want that dog in a crate ASAP. First 72 hours are cr critical and annoying because all the dog normally does is fuss, hop, hoop, and holler. So, Cha-Cha Cage, 
She doesn't know what that means. Now what am I doing? I'm gonna give her, give it a, a, an identity. That's what I'm gonna do. Sit. Cage. Now she knows that the cage is what? Point of reference. Sit. Now she go back in and look at the group. Sit. Cage. Well, I've got her attention. That's a good thing. She didn't go in there and go far enough. Sit. Cage. Again, still not listening. This is good. This is exactly what you're going to deal with, to be clear. Sit. Now the first thing you do, after they've gone in there a few times, is you lock them up. Now they're going to look frustrated. You see how she's looking right now? She's looking around like, what is this place? What am I doing in here? What's going on? She's super unsure. She's looking for more treats because she's, she's like, yo, I thought this is where I get treats and food. <laughs> they're real smart like her. They're going to try to break out. So you got to make sure you lock the bottom and top, top and lock. The top and bottom because that joke is going to come out of that cage. But again, the exact thing you're seeing, exactly what you go, you might feel bad. But here's the facts. She's got enough room to turn around, which is rule number one. Can your dog turn around in the cage? Can she extend her head up? Is she crunched over? No, she's not. She's fine. Good girl. And she's still unsure. But, okay, now we've got a marker for comfort. And while she's in there, I'll turn around and drop another tree in. Let her know she's doing good. Then what do you do? You walk away. You walk away, baby, take a lap around your crib. He said, huh, let me sit over here for a little bit. Some of your dogs are gonna lose their crap. They're gonna start hollering. Let me turn them. Oh, okay, you got it. They're gonna start hollering and it's gonna get annoying. When you hear the hollering, that's when I go get the blanket. The blanket don't mean they're gonna shut up immediately, but it's gonna calm them down. It's kind of like a weighted blanket being put on someone who needs stimulation. In this case, they just need silence and not to see a bunch of moving parts. And slowly but surely, you can start lifting parts of the blanket up as the dog becomes more comfortable in the cage. Now you hear that moving around, Chacha again, she's crate trained, so I'm not going to pretend like she's going to lose her crap in there. She does like to escape and get out. And that's even now. You look up, ah, they she boo boo and peed, and it wasn't in the crate, even though she'll do that in the crate too. <laughs> but it was in the what? The garage. And she's just roaming around, ain't bothering nobody, she just didn't want to be in the crate, cage. So I'll go back now, and I'll let her out. I have to grab some more treats, of course. What's up, mama? Now, next thing is, once you get the dog trained, you again, <laughs> you don't want them rushing out of the crate. And if you can get them to learn patience here, one of the things that will keep them safe in the car as well, what does that mean? Hey, if I open my car door and I take my dog somewhere, it should not be leaving the car. It should not be taken off running. It should be waiting wherever, it is. basically you left it. Opening this door doesn't mean she's free, which is why communication is key. And this is where you do what? You get that leash, put her on the leash, and start tightening up her approach. Now, I'm not gonna show you everything in this episode. I'm gonna show you literally step one. Sit, hey, get off me. Sit. Make sure you're using a stern voice too. These dogs, they need direction. Hey, 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 now. Look at that, you're gonna tear these streets up. <laughs> she got a free one, I think a piece fell up. Cage. Hey, get in the cage. Go. Go. <laughs> you gotta beat it to it. And now what I start doing, now every time she gets a kick, a treat, I'll leave her in there. First time we'll do it for 10. Next time we'll do it for 15. Next time we'll do it for 20. Next time we'll do it for an hour. Next time we'll leave her at the house. We'll be going somewhere. Mind you, you gotta leave at some point. They're gonna hoop, they're gonna holler. You say, well, why would you associate the crate with food? My dogs, that's, that's, this is like their, their placemat. They eat in that cage. And we clean the garage now, for sure, almost once a week. They're gonna eat in their crate because I have a lot of dogs. 
respect to everyone who has a dog, where they've got the bowls lined up and they say, you, 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 go eat, perfect. I'm not gonna tell you it's difficult with raw food. What I will tell you is that the dogs a lot of times wanna take their food out and enjoy it. So you see them take a chicken leg out. You see them take a thigh or a, a, a bird that we've given them. They wanna like enjoy it. Part of me making sure that they have peace is making sure they have a safe place to enjoy la comida, AKA food. Guys, step one to getting your dog and training them to use the crate or being crate trained is literally one step, two step, three step, four. First step, get some treats, get them in the cage, walk away, walk away, walk away, leave, 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 cover if need be. And over the next 72 hours, toughest time to train a dog to be in the crate is my opinion and experience. First, first 72 is rough. After that, it gets easier. Then the place becomes, this becomes a place of sanctuary. But this is also an opportunity to train. So watch this. I'm gonna let her out, she's gonna come out again. If I say wait, she's not gonna listen. I'm going to show you the process of getting Cha Cha to being better. So you guys aren't gonna miss anything. When I say we're gonna do a series, a young man reached out to me and he said, I watch you on YouTube, appreciate everything you do. I just got a bulldog child mix or something, something like that. I said, you know what I'll do for you, man? I said, we'll do a series and we'll put it up. And it'll be a playlist. You can use a playlist. Rule one, in my opinion, again, before you do, I ain't worried about the dog knowing his name yet. They got to be able to live and coexist without me all the time. And that crate is his home because we travel and do a lot of things, but we come back and we take care of them. But they can't be roaming around the house. It's only like one dog that can do that, and that's ego. And he, uh, he don't tear nothing up. Some of these jokers, they get destructive. So I'm gonna tell her to wait. She's not gonna wait. She's not gonna listen. She doesn't know stay. <laughs> so she's gonna come right out again. But at the same time, I'm gonna show you the process of getting her to do it or what I did to get her to do it. Cause we're not gonna record every, we'll record enough, but a few steps. You got questions, comments, put them down below. And I'll do my best to try to answer them either in the short form, meaning with shorts, or we'll just keep doing videos. But the whole playlist is gonna be start to finish, crate training, teaching your dog its name, teaching the dog a good sit, and most importantly, having the patience to communicate with the dog and what the dog is telling you at times, how to feed your dog so it's not resource guarding, how to manage making sure the dog doesn't get aggressive. All this stuff, it starts with you and the dog and the crate, simply put. Guys, take care of your dogs. Watch me end on this note, because it's not gonna be good. Stay. Stay. You see that? Came right out that joker. <laughs> Looking for the tree. So, as a pet owner, it's my job to tighten her up, guys. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, this draws some perspective and helps. It's not gonna be perfect the first time, but it will get better. <laughs>